Tesla is urging owners to push for allowing charging payment by kilowatt hour. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you would like to know more about Tesla and uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story, please. Tesla is turning to owners in Canada to help push the government to allow the automaker to charge by the kilowatt hour for charging their vehicles. The automaker is expected to make similar pushes in other markets where the authorities only allow charging per minute of charge instead for the total energy. In some markets, uh, charging station operat uh, operators are not allowed to charge electric car drivers by the kilowatt hour like an electric utility. Instead, they charge by the minute, which is less than ideal. Tesla uses a two-tier system and charges a certain amount per minute when charging under 60 kilowatt hour. That's the tier one. And over 60 kilowatt hour, which is 60 kilowatt, that's the tier two. Tier one is half the cost of tier two, but the price changes based on electricity rates and specific in specific markets. While this system reduces the impact of time-based billing, it's still not representative of the actual electricity that the consumer is getting. Tesla explained this in an email to owner saying, quote, with time-based billing, consumers run the risk of paying more to charge their electric vehicle one day compared to the next. Battery state of charge and temperature are just two of the factors that can affect charging speeds and thus cost regardless of the amount of electricity delivered. For example, as an electric vehicle driver, you pay certain amount to charge your vehicle for 30 minutes on a fast level three chargers. If the 30 minute charging session is in the winter, you'll be paying the same amount, but you likely get less electricity for your money since cold temperatures affect charging speed. This is just one of the many scenarios in which the dollar per minute billing hurts you as customers. In Canada, they can actually charge by the kilowatt hour, but they have to use expensive utility-grade electricity meter, which Tesla claims will result in higher costs. Tesla explained in the same email the following. Here's a quote. Current federal standards established by Measurement Canada require that anyone providing electric vehicle charging services must charge cust uh, customers on a time-only basis. The only other option available is to use a pre-approved and inspected utility-grade electricity meter, but that would increase charging infrastructure costs, reduce charging availability, and increase charging infrastructure costs, um, and, and reduce and increase charging costs for consumers, actually. These federal standards were designed well before electric vehicles become popular and public EV charging became common. And the unintended effect of these rules is less price transparency for consumers and unfair billing for electric vehicle charging. End of the quote. So that's why Tesla is urging Canadian owners to contact Measurement Canada and ask them to allow charging station operators to charge by the kilowatt hour using their own connected charger. Here is an email in full. Hello, have you ever noticed or wondered why electric vehicle drivers are billed by the minute for charging sessions rather than by the amount of electricity received? Current federal standards established by the Measurement Canada require that anyone providing electric vehicle charging services must charge customers on a time-only basis. The only other option available is to use a pre-approved and inspected utility-grade electricity matter, but that would increase charging infrastructure costs, reduce charging availability, and increase charging infrastructure um, uh, availability and uh, increase charging costs for consumers. These federal standards were designed well before EVs became popular and public EV charging became common. And the unintended effect of these rules is less price transparency for consumers consumers and unfair billing for electric vehicle charging. With time-based billing, cons consumers run the risk of paying more to charge their EV one day compared to the next. Battery state of charge and temperature are just two of the factors that can affect charging speeds and thus cost, regardless of the amount of electricity delivered. For example, as an EV driver, you pay certain amount to charge your vehicle for 30 minutes 
on a fast level 3 chargers. If that 30 minute charging session is in the winter, you'll be paying the same amount, but you'll likely get less electricity for your money since cold temperatures affect charging speeds. This is just one of the many scenarios in which the dollar per minute billing hurts you as customers. While Tesla's tier billing system takes charging speed into account and diminishes the impact on the consumer, this isn't the case for most public charging networks. To enable more transparent and fair billing for all customers, all consumers, all the time, Measurement Canada should be allow should allow network connected EV charging connectors to count energy use while they establish rules for accuracy. Join us in urging Measurement Canada to temporarily pause the current rules while they work toward developing new long-term EV charging metering standards. Help accelerate Canada's transition to sustainable energy by clicking below to learn more and have your voice heard. We appreciate your support. Best regards, Tesla policy team. That was the email sent to Tesla owners. If you are in Canada, you probably received this. Now, it seems like a sensitive request. Connected chargers should be able to accurately calculate and keep track of how much power they deliver. In the same way, the gas stations are accurately cal calculate how much gas they deliver to your car and you pay only for the gas delivered to your car. With this being an issue in several markets for Tesla, and now that the company's policy team is on it, we expect to see similar efforts popping up in other markets as well. So what do you think about this development, friends? Let us know in the comment section below, please. Um, what has been your charging experience about the similar issue? In the meantime, this is Armin Harian from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Like this video to show your appreciation of all the people who brought this content to you. Um, that helped me to bring this to you. And uh, I'll see you in our next report. God bless you. Take good care of each other and see you soon.